Hey guys, welcome to this session. Uh, this is a review of a session that I did the other day, 080507 from crviewer.com. Um, the video did not record, so we're basically going to go through and produce uh, a review as if I was reviewing the session using my notes. Um, I'll be able to share some views, uh, the session um, specifics descriptions uh all that sort of stuff hopefully some opinions and um, we can create some mappings from the target to the information provided here all right um on that note let's kick into it all right here we have the ideogram for the first part of the session um, what I've got here is air feels cold around both arms, feel structures in hands. Uh, when training, when tracing downwards, arms cold levels row sharply. Um, so going from here, uh, tracing from here to here, uh, the, the cold levels in the arms seem to go from, uh, from the tips of my hands all the way up to my arms. Um, so going from the top of this ideogram to the bottom just made my arms flow with uh, what um, what do you call it cold impressions um, so here we've got we've got uh, arms cold levels rose sharply uh, cold flows number one that's what I was feeling in this branch of the ideogram two warmer heights up so as I was going up I could feel my body temperature changing so I thought let's take a probe area around this uh, specific um, part and three down here I felt structures galore in my arm so hence the three down the side um, so it's it's an easy three pro points that you can identify is just to get things that are uh, different um, that you can find on the ideogram all right so in the first one we have we have uh, touch one so we've got touch one I've got my arm uh, my body and my picture of uh, my sort of pose or stance when I'm doing the session. Got my arms on the table, and uh, no, I don't stand here with my arms in the air. So this is from the behind, uh, behind my head view, looking down on the table, and I usually have my paper in front of me here. Um, so. Well, now that we've got the position sorted, let's have a look and see what we've got. Um, I've highlighted my arm. I feel... S oh, that's right. Um, I could feel flat structural connections, solid uh, connecting. Um, so definitely structural. I've cold flows felt on hand, so I can feel coldness on my hand, and it felt like it was coming externally. Um, we've got the structure here and long thin structures coming in underneath. Um, we've got structure underneath arm like armpit. Okay, so let me just explain this to you guys. Um, what I've introduced into this session, um, I'm calling it a tap. It's basically just um, doing a probe on the um, drawing that I've that I've drawn for the first part. So if there's any sort of graphic portion of that I can I'm going to attempt to probe it to see if I can get more information from from the impression so in this instance here um, I've got I've put down here one B basically it's just not not the first one but the next one um, and what I did was I did it around here I believe uh, on the structure here protecting shelter so structure underneath arm like armpit so I'll explain this impression here um, it felt like my arm was here and it felt like there was something structural underneath it now showing you a picture from the uh, centrifuge centrifuge um, it has a lot of uh, bracing it has, it has a lot of um, right angle type uh, bracing for the structures and I believe that's what this part is here so if I was actually sitting up properly if I draw it so if I draw that here if I'm that's going to be my body that's my arm and that's my arm here so you're getting a side view of me sitting at my desk this felt like it was connected to my body so even though I show it is 
curved here this is only to show that it came from underneath underneath my arm straight to my body so on the centrifuge I think there's a whole lot of bracing um, and I think there's a picture of a unit there and it's got some pipes and stuff and it's got that bracing on on the corner I think I'm feeling something similar like this one here I'm feeling the bracing that's been erected anyway so that's for touch one um, so for one this one B I'm pinpointing or probing the drawing that I've got and trying to see if I can get some more information from it so in this one here I've got protecting shelter covering body from back uh, structure underneath arm like armpit uh, like solid structural armpit yeah um, structure covering back so something felt like it was covering my back so maybe it was talking about the unit I don't know it, it wasn't defined enough to do that um, let's carry on touch two we've got my arms on the table we've got cold spots on them we've got uh, cold flows felt down forearm so I could feel the flow coming through from my hand down my arm definitely could feel that flow coming through feel movement in arms feel like spasms in forearms uh, solid feeling so I had a like a solid bar type feeling um, solid feeling moving so if I am probing this arm my tap is solid feeling like moving fingers tingle spasm movements in the hand muscle spasms and bicep so I just wanted to pinpoint as I was doing these probes I was getting spasms in the forearms in the first probe now the the spasms were like really they weren't patterny or anything like that they were just random you know that kind of frequency it was like a like a almost like a stuttering kind of um, and when I did this this one the, um, the spasms went from my hand oh we've got so we've got spasms in my hand and spasms in my bicep so I was feeling it in my bicep as well it was just going boom, 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 boom. and movements in my hand I could feel forms moving in my hand even so whatever was happening at the target site something was happening with their hands that you could feel the energy you can feel the movement in your own hand even though it's relaxed or whatever it's doing resting on the table um, you can feel these forms moving in your hand like obviously with the centrifuge um, people are going to be bloody scrunching up their fists and trying to tense up their muscles so they can get you know stop um, going faint or whatever um, just to stay conscious so yeah it's spasms tingles movement it makes sense um, spasms that was weird that that was weird it, it was like oh wow my arms my forearms shit okay do another tap or another probe on, on that thing and next thing it goes from to fingers to, to the bicep it, it was it was fully weird anyway um, that was caught touch two so let's go on to touch three all right so this session took over two hours to do so doing this review will actually speed up this sort of information gathering analysis piece right up um, because man it took a long time especially with these extra taps you know we already do 21 or 27 touch points in a session and you're adding another one on top of that you're almost doubling it so that's why it took a long time and I'm not surprised but hey if you want more information you've got to get more information if that means you do it once then twice then try it again um, it's the only way I can see it happening really anyway let's do this touch three boom okay so here's my body um, I'm sitting at the table now my right arm my left arm didn't really feel much right arms lying there I can feel this cold flow going all the way down so my hand was freezing uh, down down along my arm up my arm along the back of my back um, and coming out the other side it, it felt like there was one long wet cold slug trail 
sort of, sort of, you know, it felt that cold. I, with the centrifuge going on and that sort of stuff, I'm thinking, okay, that's probably airflow. I can feel the airflow. Um, I just have to form as to why I'm feeling it like this. But um, here's my description is that I could feel with the impressions of touch. So you feel a cold path around the body, behind back, tracing behind back, trace under arm, under left arm gone. So it sort of disappeared. Um, I did a, a tap on the flow. And what I've got here is what I felt is I've got a, my body uh, shape there. The cover on shoulders and path going following cover. So when I was doing the second probe, it felt like I had a cover, like a, like a, a thick, um, thick, woolly, grassy, something bushy cover going over my shoulders. Um, you know, it felt, it felt warm, basically warm cover. Now I could feel the flow that I was flowing. So that was on top in the flow. I could feel it going behind my back and I could feel the cold path it was taking. Now I'm thinking that that might be the form of the centrifuge in action and how it spins and everything else. That's what I'm thinking, but you know, that's it's it's not definite at this stage. Um, texture one. So what I'm feeling here is I've got a picture of myself. I've got drawn some structures. So when I was doing this, I could feel structures on the side of my head, like there was several layers of it, or there was there was a lot of it. Um, and let, let me see what's here. Structures in the head. Side of head feels built up. Solid, heavy, man-made. Feel structure flat across throat. Uh, feel, feel small, constraint in throat, bottleneck. Now, um, this one here, I can, I'm pointing to the bottleneck. Where This one felt like the built-up structures, and then I felt something go across my neck. Um, and I thought, what the hell is that? It, it felt like it was blocking, it was restricting something. I wasn't too sure. So that's why it, we wrote those constraint. Um, the tap that I did for this 1B, I did it on the throat part. And this is what I got. I got the structure. I got my head here and I could feel a long structure inside my head. So um, what have I got? Wide, flat, across structure, surface. Um, cold on hands, no that's for this one here, so I believe this is the basic frame or structure of the centrifuge itself and I believe the structures that I could feel up here were part of the centrifuge but when I did the second tap on that um, I believe I started getting the proper structure of that centrifuge when, when you look at it like that you know it's really in the 3D shape but for some reason I've got one of the sides at least um, and that's what I think. That's what I'm mapping it to as well. Texture two. Um, we've got my arms. Uh, so texture two. Two. This was at the start. Cold shifting in direction. Um, I've got my arms here. I could feel coldness moving towards my um, warmness spreading to my uh, hands but as I moved along the ideogram this coldness would come back the other way so I am thinking that either it's an indicator of uh, the centrifuge spinning up and or spinning down in speed but let's have a look anyway um, cold shifting in direction the cold shifts towards the hand and depending on where you are on the ideogram you can have the, the warm all the way back here and all this is all cold. Or you can have the warmth all the way to the hand and just that bit is cold. Okay, so cold on hands, cold flows away out of arms. So cold is going away. Upper arms warmer than usual. Uh, warm, so the tap I've got to be is exposed open flows. Hands feel movement, working hands. 
yeah, I don't know what that one is. Working hands, they could be the squeezing and the, the tensing of the muscles and that sort of stuff. But I would have thought it would have been more than just the hands. But, you know, you get what you get. Uh, and that is page two. Let's continue on. We've got text to three. Hands feel like movement. All right, so we've got a picture of a hand. We've got cold, and the cold is moving up. So on the ideogram, the colds were at the hands at the top, and at the bottom, where we've got the next one, uh, the, the cold is all the way coming up. So let's have a look. Hands feel like movement, felt tingles. All right, so we've got changing changes of state that's happening um i think at a, at a micro level and those those turn up as tingles I've got a picture of a hand i've got a warm hand in my cold arm is cold structures along each felt side of head so my tap of that hand warm hand structures turned out this guy so I had my body, I had my head, and what I felt was there were structures down each side of my head going all the way down uh, my body, and I drew it as such. Structures along each felt side of head, back of, uh, going down the back of body, parallel with each other, so definitely parallel. Um, centrifuge, it's built, it looks parallel, all, uh, there's a lot of parallels going on in that structure as well, and I believe that's the centrifuge that I'm feeling. Um, next one temp one super cold okay so this is a reiteration of the one before i can feel the cold paths and it's super cold uh cold flows felt on arms and body flows from hand down arm behind back so flowing feeling the same flow as before now i've circled where i've touched the flow probed the flow and this is what i'm getting here I've got myself and my uh, head. It felt like there was f like a gentle rain. You know, you could feel things flowing past you, going down your back. Just, yeah, just going downwards, down your back. It was like a gentle, um, gentle shower. Flow down back direction feels cold, feels like rain, rain like, not high pressure, but flowing. So if I'm looking at this and I'm probing that and I know what I've been looking at, I'm feeling the speed of the air currents in that centrifuge, basically. And that's that's what I'm going to look at these. So as to the forms of, of those cold things, um, they're following the form, the physical form in that state. So... If anything, the centrifuge is circular. I'm feeling it coming in, but I don't feel it coming out of my other arm. And it goes behind the back. So at least I can feel flows when I'm probing different parts, which can and will give me more information to help me analyze what the hell this is going forward. But hey, still beginning, still learning. Temp 2. Feels like a cold box. So temp 2... I've got my arm, my post, uh, my pose, sitting pose, RV pose. I felt a big, giant, cold box, structural box. Arm just feels like cold storage box shape, right angle shape, structural. Picture of the centrifuge, you can see all the right angles and everything. You can feel that. Um, 2B, do the box, structural shape. It's a box. It's, yeah, it's too simple to really get any info out of it i should have been better at putting more info in there but this is only beginning we shall do better next time little bits little bits temp three we've got both my arm both arms up we've got cold temp in this part we've got warmer hands we've got cold structural shapes cold temps movement tingles hands cold inside arm there goes that bicep thing again. Uh, super cold hands, numbness. Numbness? Super cold hands and numbness. So, structures warm, separate, disconnected to structure. What does that mean? Like forearms cut off like. So, we've got super cold hands, structures warm. 
So they're not connected because one's a flow or the coldness of the wind and the other is the thing. Uh, centrifuge. That makes sense. That's That makes sense why it's disconnected as well. All right. Color, blues, dark, brights, greens, browns. Um, dark blues, browns, greens, greens, yellows, blues, reds. Yeah. Smell. Smell warm environment, warm air at times, inside smells person warmth. Yeah. I could smell those. Uh, when I do smell, I breathe out, um, try and expel all the air in my lungs, and I just take a start off a deep breath uh, but not rushing it and just constantly bringing in that 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 stream of air uh, smells warm environment it did smell warm it didn't smell outsideish it didn't smell like cold airs I was quite surprised considering that I was feeling all this cold stuff and this was sort of is this cold is this environment cold yeah not really it's actually a warm environment uh, warm air at times inside smells person warmth yep um, you can smell people you know there's some, somebody's there um, hence why you put it down um, smell too smells inside yep structures warm so when i try and confirm that it's inside uh, when you do breathe in at times you can smell the inside of an enclosure um, you can sort of you know that it's pressure related because you can sense the pressure and you, um, when you're when you're smelling when you're outside there's no pressure you don't feel that pressure but when you're in when you're smelling the target on the inside of something you can you you know that there's this enclosed type pressure that things are very not as free as they should be um, so you know it's inside so smelling inside and you take that deep breath in it's like you got you can you can you can sense the walls in a way. Structures, warm, yep. Big room, yep. Lots of warm air, yep. Around me, surrounding. Yep. Um, if I'm the centrifuge, yep. Smell, arms feel freely, freezing cold, yes. Uh, flows felt, yep. Body is warm, arms feel disconnected from body, so. If that's the spinning centrifuge and my arms are like the flows or the things that are representing the, the cold flows and speed or maybe they're just uh, representing the um, the outside of the centrifuge and they're the most speedy and coldest part. Uh, body is warm. Uh, arm feels disconnected from body. Big warm space in body. Uh, big warm space in body. Arms are separate structures. Hmm. Arms are separate structures. Is that the weight? You know how it spins. You know someone sits in there and um, it goes from sitting to. when it's spinning so I'm um, disconnected they make sense disconnected it's not really structurally connected it's loose pivoting it's swinging it's interesting all right that's first time sort of having that disconnection sort of felt so that was good anyway next so smell three I've got this 
heel one we have a picture of myself and with my right arm out structure like steps um, I could feel the structure sort of yeah there was a lot of jaggedy doof, 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 bits going everywhere um, structures felt in head felt in head uh, cold flows felt going behind back so still feeling oh am I feeling the centrifuge now whereas this is just the flow of the centrifuge this is actually getting some detail from the centrifuge interesting interesting all right here too constant pressure felt in ears and temples loud noise headgear unsure 2a feel noise in the ears when probing feeling minor impressions in the ears sporadic noise feel some listening intent i think so this bit here um it just felt like constant like you've got um earmuffs on and um it's like that constant pressure that the muffs put on your ears you can sort of feel something that's what i could sort of feel um i felt it going over the top of my head as well i don't know if these guys wear headgear or um anything talking stuff um breathing apparatuses i don't i don't know um feel noise in the ears when probing so when when i was probing the here too the way i feel the noise is like you can feel it but you can't hear it so it's not actually real noise it's like you can re you're receiving the the braille version of the noise you know you're only getting the, f the feel of it or the, the the vibration of it or that sort of thing you're not getting the sound of it because it doesn't actually exist you know you're not hearing sound you're feeling feeling the sound sometimes you get um noise that you can hear but i feel it more than before i hear it um so feeling the noise is where my eardrums are sort of like active you get that sometimes it's like a beat a drum sort of like pops and that sort of thing in my ears i don't hear anything but it's like muscles are going flat tech you know it's, and your attention is moved to the ears like you're you're paying so much attention to it so the intent feels some listening intent it's like your the way i detect intent is like it's like i'm l trying to listen to something like that's what the feeling the feeling of listening to something intently you get that strong intent feeling and it's like it's like that noise is coming from a certain area even though you can't hear noise you're you're doing the same actions you're trying to put your ear in that direction you're trying to listen intently you, your your feelings follow that motion or that activity that this target's doing or you know whatever whatever's happening you're doing it too and that's why you can recognize it as it is um because otherwise you wouldn't call it that you'd call it oh he's acting like he's doing something no he's doing it and you're recognizing that he's doing it and so you're you're expressing it because you're feeling it um so feel noise and ears probing so he's either listening to people in his earphones or something like that you know oh we're gonna go to bloody blah, blah g-force don't g-lock blah 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 um that sort of stuff or sporadic noise you know people could be talking to him he has to keep f focus and concentration and that sort of stuff too um don't know that's all i felt um so yeah that was a good one though i really did enjoy that um having the field noise come through is as weird as hell like you hear boom, 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 you can hear these pops going off yeah it's it's interesting it's like what what is that is, is there something going off in the distance or you know it's sort of like you, you think you can hear it but you're not really hearing anything it's like what is that what is that what am i what am i thinking i'm hearing all right here three feels like i am listening for something intently loud noise listening through the chaos um yeah it's probably really noisy with this thing going flat tech 
um, makes sense, sort of adds to that insight to it, but not really telling you specifically about the situation. Um, join one. So join, um, I'm going to expand this out soon. Uh, join, I'm going to put join state of mind, join emotion, and join something else. I'm going to try and break them out so I can start looking at those different aspects separately rather than, oh, let's see what comes up now. So instead of having to fish around for something, I might put some intention into... Um, uh, state of mind, um, emotion, and you know, try and hone in on those things specifically, um, and maybe um, structure, structure or environment. Join. This looks environment, environmental. But this join is for the was for the specifically for the target. So we'll leave that open. We'll just leave that to whatever. But state of mind and emotion is definitely two that I've felt recently that I want to expand into that space. So rather than just sort of go fishing, it's now to put some ideas in place and see if it can specifically target and pick those things. Um, so join here, the first one, relax, shoulders, no stress, take it easy. Now, that could be at the start, or you could be out of it, unconscious. <laughs> I don't know. It, said, it definitely felt like he was relaxed and taking it easy. He wasn't stressed. Um, get hands working, start working, let's get moving. Yeah, it... It felt weird. It felt like um, it felt like whoa, active, active, active. Maybe they're just doing their fists like that, you know. Got a strain, strain, strain. Um, start working. There was an immediate uh, immediacy to do something straight away. Like I had to do it, do it, do it now, do it now. You know, start working, get it done. Let's get moving. So it's also part of that thread of um, let's get it done, we've got to get it done, do it, do it, do it, you know. Um, and the centrifuge is basically there to test your limits. So at the moment, this is basically trying to exceed your, break, break your limits and exceed your limits in, um, in the G-force area. Uh, join three, large area, large expanse. Hey, it's, it's a massive room and, and a massive building. Going really fast. Um, very basic, but it came through. It's it's better than nothing, right? So, if anything, that could be environmental. Uh, yeah, smells environmental, um, but that's from a smell point of view. You have also the dimensions and forms point of view. Interesting idea. Anyway, snapshot, I've got this big giant circular thing with a small circular thing uh, in the middle and that's the ground and that's all dark and it just had this small thing. Now there were sort of little hops there but this one was giant, it looked like a um, big giant sort of sunset sort of thing, I'm not too sure. Uh, cover, shelter, enclosed? I don't know, is that inside the central? I, I have no idea what it looks like inside that. But yeah, it didn't look like that. So not enough. Um, I did a tap, so I did that. Looking upwards, I have sort of a circular shape and I've got straight lines and maybe they follow roof. So roof? Looking up, does it have straight lines in the roof? Um, let's have a look at the picture. Maybe it does, not sure. Um, let's go snapshot number two. I've got large, expansive, I've sort of got a curved roof. That thing's coming through curved. 
Um, and two, columns, doors, uh, mosque-like, by a Sophia. So it sort of had that curved and column sort of sort of feel. I don't know as a structure. Has it really come close to the centrifuge? Really, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Um, snapshot number three. I've got a path that's walking into sort of something in the middle, and there's something under it outside. Um, yeah, maybe that's a centrifuge. I don't know. You know that that thing could spin around. Should have used another pen. Um, but yeah, uh, so hard, rock, heavy, smooth, surface, cold, marble. No, that's called metal. Uh, path flow, building structures. Yeah, very, very plain. Um, let's go sensorals, cold path. Yep, felt that. Magnitude, felt something curvy. Structure surrounding body. Oh yeah, it's in the building. Housed shapes, walls, curved roofs, tops, inside, presented, of significance. It felt special, presented, of significance. Basically, I try to say it was special, it felt special. So this device. Um, I don't know if the roof is curved in that centrifuge place. I don't think so. The walls will be curved. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the walls are curved. So maybe it's the centrifuge is inside and it's filling the walls and that's the walls the outside. Hmm. Topological, dark shape, We've got another circle, circle shape, walls looking up. So it looks curved again, but when in this topological, the shape that I got was circular and it felt like I was looking up and um, hence the drawing circle, circle spinning. Uh, energetics a whole all right so here I've got my body and what I felt as far as energetics cold exposed hole missing big hole and back exposing inside body to cold all right so the way this felt uh, was it felt like a massive um, like a 14 inch pizza shape uh, that was cold and on your back and it felt like an opening that things like it was like a, uh, exposing my my body to the to the cold and to the world so it, like it opened up my body to to all this flow and force and that sort of thing so um yeah in a way, that is energetics, you know, it's the most, it's the fastest thing on this bloody thing. It just felt like a big, big circular freaking uh, shape and something pouring through it, which was all the air and the air currents and the uh, oxygen and all that sort of stuff in there, which I'm, I'm mapping it to anyway. Um, subjectives, relaxed, things to do, busy. So we got relaxed state, and we got a busy state. Um, contradictory right um, so slow speed relaxed high speed you're tense uh, the physical it came out really well um, I really enjoy this it basically showed the state of the room or the shape of the uh, the target I got definitely got the circular shape coming through and now this is the second physical where I have felt the shape easier than usual um, so definitely feeling the shape of the circle um, it's even got a, like a six star thing in there I think that's just the thing spinning around um, there was there was just a lot of everything in, inside, so I just sort of blat 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 blat. You know, every, everything's pretty much messy, and but you get the shape very clearly. So in this physical, I'm starting to get a lot better with detecting the shapes or identifying the shapes that come up in the physical in the modelling portion. Uh, paraphysical faith belief. Wow. 
Mm, yeah, it just sort of popped in there. Flows, air, water. Weren't too sure if it was air or water. I, I don't sort of, I'll just term it as a flow now. Uh, concepts, high, faith, belief, high. Well, it is for pilots. Faith, mm, nah. belief, mm, maybe some pre, I don't know. Flows, place, concentration, people. Concentration, yes. People, yes. Special place, yes. So that's the special place feeling. Uh, cold back. So definitely feeling the importance of this place. You know, it's only coming through slowly. Symbolics. Now this looked like, like a curtain. Um, coming like entrance, tent, curtain, shapes, hidden. Um, I don't know what it looks like from the cockpit or wherever that looks like. Um, so the visuals here. I got goosebumps. Um, visuals. I sort of got um, like building a building sort of sense um and this was that sort of weird shape um yeah so that i can't really place anywhere um so you really can't really say that's anything or that or that um but otherwise physical was really good usually that's typically clean not so great but you know the forms and the shapes that i'm feeling coming through now are a lot more evident and more obvious so in the way that i draw these 2d versions of the 3d feelings that i get it's getting better i'm, I'm comprehending the the forms and the structures that i'm feeling um lining them up with my drawings a lot better um so yeah so thanks guys uh that is uh, my session um, thanks for joining me um, thanks for sticking by it's the new things in this session which I'll probably be introducing more is the taps so just trying to eke more info out of stuff uh, out of the existing impressions that I'm getting and um, it's looking good the the information is coming out is is adding to what uh, we're already getting here so as far as getting more info out of the target I think it's accomplishing its goal but anyway thanks guys uh, thanks for joining me uh, next time I shall see you later see you later